Nafplio in the south of Greece has been a hot touristic destination for decades. The town of 14,000 attracts tourists but relies greatly on the visitors from Greece. The serious decline of the internal tourism because of the economic crisis left its marks in the economy of the first Greek capital. Antonis Katsuleris is the manager of a small family hotel in the part of the old town. He says that the Greeks started years ago to spend less and less, and they still do. This was a very heavy winter, apart from the difficult weather conditions. I think that now we saw the damages that have accumulated from the bailout programs the last years. I think that now we will see the worst effects of the crisis. Doesn't matter if we are out of the bailout programs. It will be more evident now because people are left without money. The banks have stopped giving loans, so people don't have money right now and they are trying to close the wounds that remain open after all these years. In the same neighborhood, we met a pottery maker that sells his artifacts in this shop. He has been doing that since 1996. All these years he has seen many changes. He says that now is time for the Greeks to change their way of thinking. Our politicians must find a way to let investments in the country. Not investments of colonial type, but we need jobs. They must find a way, maybe making full use of the national strategic reference framework. We need jobs immediately. But we need to change our mentality. It is not only the Europeans, we must do something as well. 80% of the result is in our hands. During the last years, the austerity measures hit the Greeks hard. But sacrifices needed to be made by the country as a whole. Greece lost control of a significant part of its public assets. Among others, the two biggest ports of the country, the state lottery's license and the Hellenic gas transmission system operator, were privatized. At the same time, the state signed the concessions for the Athens airport as well as for 14 regional airports. The immediate plans for privatizations of the Greek state include the public gas corporation, 10 ports and 8 marinas. The better microeconomic figures and the high surpluses are due to the sacrifices of the Greek people, unfortunately to the overtaxing and to the big increase of the insurance contributions. Moreover, a very significant part is the public debt towards private companies. With a massive reform program already implemented, according to the data of Hellenic Asset Development Fund, the proceeds from the privatizations reached 8 billion euros. A few months after the country left behind the bailout programs, many Greeks still don't see a change in their daily lives. And this is exactly what they ask from the government and from Brussels, to help them create better conditions for a brighter future. Faye Dulgeri, Euronews, Nafplio.